Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Bounty hunters in the old... Yeah, you should get out of the way. Look at that, that is a money shot. No, I meant hunting men for bounty. Well, that's not what you said, so uh, why don't you shut up and ante up? Souvenir? Thanks. You betcha. Bounty hunters in the Old West were men not only good with a gun, but had tracking skills and no quit in them. Lord Bola, manhunter. You may have heard of me. Ah, once or twice. In 1873, the Supreme Court ruled that bounty hunters were part of the U.S. law enforcement system. They may pursue him into another state, may arrest him on the Sabbath, and if necessary, may break and enter his house for that purpose. Many times these men were established lawmen, looking to earn more money by collecting bounties. But in some instances, they were civilians, like the Dunn brothers. In 1895, five bounty hunter brothers shot down some famous outlaws named George Bitter Creek Newcomb and Charlie Pierce outside of a boarding house in Oklahoma. Well, there happened to be a price on their heads, and the brothers got paid for it. Later on, brother Bill Dunn led a posse to the hideout of Bill Doolin, another bad guy, and aided in his departure from life. However, not only were the brothers successful at catching miscreants, but they were also getting a reputation for rustling and robbery on the side. That all ended the following year when Bill Dunn tried to outdraw Sheriff Frank Canton and was too slow, ending his life and the reputation of the Dunn brothers. Mickey Free was a scout for the military and also a bounty hunter, tracking the Apache Kid who had a $15,000 price on his head. Incidentally, the Apache Kid was never caught. He got away! He got away! In 1863, three cousins, the Espinosas, went on a killing spree and murdered 30 people in Colorado. Authorities managed to kill one of them, but failed to get the other two. Mountain man Thomas Tate Tobin, boy, that's a lot of teas. Was hired to track them down, and sometime later, Tobin provided authorities at Fort Garland a sack which contained the severed heads of the Espinosas. <laughs> So, in dressing for the bounty hunter, you'll notice they were from every walk of life. The sky is the limit. You can even model your outfit after any number of Hollywood bounty hunters. Didn't hear what the bed was. Your life. For instance, if you've ever seen For a Few Dollars More, you have Clint Eastwood in his drifter type outfit and Lee Van Cleef in his dressier gambler look. Now, just be careful to keep it historically accurate. In my opinion, you'd want to wear clothing with freedom of movement and something that would work on the trail. Bounty hunters also had to disguise themselves sometimes so they would not be recognizable to their prey. At least I'm wearing cowboy boots. Oh, yeah, you blend. Also, I might add, they probably carried a hideout gun somewhere. I'm certain they subscribed to the adage, better to be safe than sorry. All right, folks, now, we've been promising to give a giveaway for about 5,000 subscribers. Uh, so sorry about that, but we've got it now. The first thing we're going to give away is actually a compass on a watch chain. Uh, I don't know how old this thing is, but it's really, really pretty cool. It's got a little railroad watch kind of action going on there. Um, be perfect for your bounty hunter portrayal. Can we use your hat to put stuff in there, Dan? What's wrong with your hat? I have no hair underneath it. Lovely. Okay. Also, we got this copy of an 1861 Confederate half dollar. Ooh, very cool. Yeah. And we have an Arizona Ghost Rider sticker. Yeah, yeah. final sticker, awesome. It's really good giveaways. Very nice stuff. It is nice stuff. Good. All right, well, folks, so next week we're going to actually do the drawing. Uh, what we're going to do is have you all in the comment field, if you're interested in getting some of this booty, um, type gimme gimme that's spelled right up above us right now gimme gimme in case you're not sure and then we'll do the drawing next week we'll let you know who won where's Dan? Uh, Dan? He, le he left with the giveaway he stole the giveaway you go that way I'll go this way we'll find him Well, I'm here with members of the Arizona Ghost Riders and the fella in the center, Cactus Jack Rendon, is our semi-retired member. 
Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the trail.